Hi kids, welcome to English. In today's lesson, we will talk about simple future tense, will and shall. Will and shall are both ways of expressing the future. In a statement, we use will plus a verb in its base form. For example, I will buy a present for Peter. I think Peter will like the present. Shall. In British English, shall can replace will to express the future when the subject is I or we. But nowadays, it is limited to suggestions or advice. For example, shall we dance or shall we talk? What things shall we bring to the party? Here are six ways we use the word shall. Number one, it is used to express what you will do in the future. This is similar to will. For example, we shall be away next week. We can also say we will be away next week. Number two, you shall. Is used to describe what will happen to someone, especially when you are saying something that is very definite. For example, "Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself," or "Thou shalt not kill." Just for your reference, both these sentences are written in Old English, as they are from the Bible. In Modern English, we can say, "You shall love your neighbor as yourself," or "You shall not kill." Number three. We use shall to indicate a future action, often a forecast or a prophecy. For example, east is east and west is west, and never the twain shall meet. Number four, we use shall to indicate plans and intentions. For example, I hope I shall succeed this time, or I shall be twenty years old next month. Number five, we use shall to indicate obligation or to give instructions. For example. The tenant shall return the keys to the landlord. Number six, we use shall to express determination. For example, you shall have my answer tomorrow. Alternatively, we can also say I will give you my answer tomorrow, or you shall not go fishing with me tomorrow. He shall have his share. In all these cases, we are trying to give a firm or a strong message by using the word shall. We have talked a lot about shall. So what about will? We use will to indicate that you hope, think, or have evidence that something is going to happen or be the case in the future. For example, the show will be open to the public at two p.m. Dinner's ready. Thanks, Carrie, but we'll have a drink first. Note here that will is a conjugation of we will. We often find the words will and shall. Used together with time adverbials, or adverbs of time, these are descriptors of time that we can use in a sentence. The following time adverbials are usually associated with the future tense. For example, tomorrow, soon, coming, next, in, later. Some examples we can say: I will be at school in two hours. Or I will play basketball the coming Saturday. We also use will and shall commonly in negation or negative statements. We use them in the following form: we use will not plus a verb in its base form, or we can use the short form of will not or the conjugation, which is won't. For example, I will not go to the meeting. I won't go to the meeting. Tom will not further his studies after graduation. Tom won't further his studies after graduation. Will and shall are also useful in questions or answering questions. For questions, we commonly use in the form will plus a subject plus a verb in its base form. For example, will you study abroad after graduation, or will you travel to other countries in the coming Christmas? In these examples, we can see the sentence structure clearly. We use will plus a subject, which is you, plus a verb. In this case, it could be study or travel. For answering closed-end questions, we can use the following structure. If in agreement, you can say yes plus a subject plus will. For example, yes, I will, or yes, they will. If not in agreement, you can use this structure: no plus a subject plus will not or won't. For example, no, I will not, or no, I won't, or no, they will not, 
or no, they won't. Earlier, we went through the scenarios where we use the word shall. So when do we use the simple tense, will? Number one, prediction without evidence, when it's just an idea in one's mind. For example, I think Peter will arrive soon. Or, will you be a teacher next year? In both these cases, we are unsure of what will happen in the near future. In these cases, we use the word will. Remember, in the case of shall, we use it when we have a strong message. Number two, sudden decisions. Here are some examples. All right, I'll get the phone. Aunt Sarah is coming to visit us tonight. Really? Then I'll buy some drinks for her. Remember, I'll is a short form of I will. Number three. Promises or offers. Don't tell this to others. Okay, I'll keep it as a secret. It's time for some exercises. Fill in the blanks using will or shall. Number one. The messenger wait for the reply. In this question, we have a prediction without evidence. This is something we are uncertain about. Therefore, we use the word will. Will the messenger wait for the reply? Number two. I carry this back for you. In this question, we are trying to express what you will do in the future. In this case, we should use the word shall. Shall I carry this back for you? Now try the remaining questions yourself.